What's going on guys, it's OVA Tech. Today we're back and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to ride a zebra what slash find it and a lion and I'm a tiger sorry. in this video. No, it is I'm so sorry. crazy. Make sure you stay tuned. I'm ruined. And ruined. Uh, I'm going to let you guys watch this cutscene without so? me interrupting. It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. Ah, and you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Uh, uh. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. Why? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Ah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. All right, so you can see we're about to go get some Margaret's, Margaret's uh, zebra danger. right now. He's not too far away. He's pretty close. Just make sure when you catch the zebra, you don't leave your horse because that's what I did, and I ended up uh, I had to run all the way back, and it took it made it, this a lot longer of a process. But he's not far. I'm gonna be back with you guys when we get there. See you in a couple seconds. All right, guys, we're back. We're right down the road a little bit. You just follow this road as you can see on the map. Just follow that little road, and it'll lead you almost exactly to the horse. As you guys can see, I'm going to ride there super fast, super quick. We're going to get there. We're going to get this zebra, and we're going to get it done. Um, I lasso the zebra because it's easier to do for me anyway. I can catch them real quick, and I just hop down them. And I'm going to show you guys. Just hop. See, now that you have him lassoed, though, this is what I'm saying. It's easier. You can literally just pull him closer to you until you get on and you can just hop on. But what I'm talking about with the horse, as you guys see it, is you have to ride the zebra back to Margaret or Margaret, however you say his name. And uh, what I ended up doing, as you guys want to see, is I ended up leaving my horse here. Just whistle while you're on your horse and he'll pretty much follow you all the way there. You might have to whistle once or twice. Maybe. Sometimes it just followed you. See, I, I left my horse. And I had to run all the way back there. And it was just super annoying. I was so mad. But uh, just don't do that. You just take this zebra back to Margo. And uh, yeah, he pretty much just uh, gives you the quest for the tiger is next. So, I'll be back to you guys in a good day.
found him, our zebra. Well, you can call him that. Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audiences? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <laughs> the allure of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary. It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long, as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please, I hate to ask. Alright, see what I can do. Alright, so this tiger is kind of far away, so what I suggest you doing is, uh, it's down by Rhodes. And I, so what I suggest you doing is just going up to Emerald Ranch, and, uh, or whatever's close, I'm not 100%, I'm pretty sure it's Emerald Ranch, and just taking the, uh, taking the stagecoach down the roads, because then sta the stagecoach literally leads you right to him in, like, 35 seconds. So I'll be back with you guys when we get there, and... So as you guys can see, I took the stage cars down the road, and I'm right off of it right here, and I'm on my horse, and it just literally takes you probably like, maybe a minute to get there from here, and you just follow the road, and you're just going to see. Um, also, look how nice my horse is. I got the, the black Arabian, because my white Arabian died, but I got my black one, and it has a nice red tail on it. Just figure out, I'll point that out. It's got a nice red mane, too. I can't see it. Also, if you haven't noticed, my guy's not red too, so he just looks super nice. I just want to throw that out there real quick. Anybody might be uh, paying attention to it like me. But as you see, once you enter the gray area, you just follow the path to the right, and uh, his assistant will be right here with like the tiger circus cage type thing. And uh, yeah, right here, as you see. And um, it's going to go into a cutscene, so I'll be back with you guys after that's over. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, I found your caravan down the way. Margaret said you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from Timbuktu, weren't he? From Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. Uh, of course. <laughs> Which way did he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop on that wagon and uh, I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs. All right, so once you're done with that, it pre just pretty much takes it. no skill. You walk over here into this little circle area. You use your tracker. You see the gold trail. You just follow it over here. And what you find over here is not the tiger, but it's pretty uh, funny. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to let you guys see. It looks pretty, looks pretty cool, honestly. I find it pretty awesome. But we'll see. It's over here in these bushes. What's this? You see, you see something dead right there. It's not the tiger. This is what they called their lion. Uh, but at the same time, this is also not the lion that you have to go I get. So don't get that dog. confused. It's dog. It's hey dog. boy. It's like a dog with a wig on. It looks pretty real cool to me. I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? 
You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Uh, <laughs> Let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? <laughs> the lady's like, what? You gotta feed the little tiger, room. my dog? You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Yes, ma'am. That is what we're gonna well, do. We need to get you a tiger. Okay. That's the only way to do it. You understand? Grubs up. Stay down. Now we're just gonna go up here. Away. We don't really do anything. We just kind of wait okay. for the tiger to show up. You guys are gonna see it. It looks. Uh, it honestly looks pretty cool. It makes a really nice like roar. Losing a lion. Dog. Ain't having any luck. If that's what you're dealing with. You didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs? Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. That's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and, and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Uh, like said, you it's see it's coming out the bushes right there? It's on his way. Look how nice that thing looks. That thing looks so cool. I wish you could like own a tiger or a lion in there. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess she's real hungry. She's yeah. Feral. Eating that dog. Locking her in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You can just run up on this wagon. It, the cat doesn't get scared or anything. You literally just shut the gates. It's all good. You don't have a sneak or anything like that. Sorry, girl. And from there, you're good. Right. You take this tiger back to good. Mr. Uh, okay. Margaret. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. I'm gonna let you guys watch this. You we'll know, in. without me talking, I there's gonna be a cutscene, I believe. And then I'll be back with you guys when we're ready well, for like, uh, the right lion, now. the real lion. found each other sure did mr margaret jolly good jolly good you know tarring and feathering a donkey's one thing i beg your pardon it's grease paint makeup but you go playing dress up dolls with a wild animal you better be a whole lot more careful strappy eight king mr margaret i saw her do it i always thought they got along well, she liked him fine licked her chops and asked for seconds speaking of which you got word on the other runaway lion or It'll pay me for these misfits. Look, 
I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a car barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As yeah, you know, so as you guys hear, the lion the is lions. near Emerald Ranch. It's so pretty super fast to get to. I know it's like a it's like a thirty second ride. All kinds of and uh, there's only one kind of grateful I care about. This line is so magnificent. Long, I'm just gonna say that out there. You get some nice rewards dear, too. I'm just gonna throw gym. it out there. This is very worth it to do. Even if you don't find it cool, it is worth it to do this mission. But I'm gonna be back with you guys when we get there. All right, guys. So we're arriving at Emerald Ranch right now, and you just ride straight in here to this gray area. And you'll, look, you'll hear some noise over to your left. They're at this barn right here. Just go over to the barn. We're gonna start talking to these guys who are scared for their life. And uh, what's the ruckus, boys? Yeah. Get back! We got a cursed creature in here. Oh yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. It looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in We end up going inside of the uh, barn, and uh, you guys are going to see there's something that happens in there, but nothing too big. Step but then when you aside. come back out, it gets what? real serious. I I'll just let you guys know. Step aside. The lion itself is so cool. You guys are, I'm just excited for you guys to see it. So we go in here. A little bit of commotion happens. You'll see. I also get stuck in here. There's a wagon in the middle of this barn, as you see. And uh, I go around the barn looking for this lion. Go on, boy. Come on, boy. Let's go home. Come around this here. I thought he was over here, so I'm looking over here. And then there's a little shows me. It's like, oh, he just broke out right there. I'm like, all right, bet. So I try to run out here, and I get stuck. I'm running into this pole. I try to jump over the little, like, flower potato bags. And I'm just like, all right. I was stuck. It felt like a lot longer I was stuck for, but apparently not. I thought. You run out here and you just run straight across. There's like another like little cattle farm, horse farm or something like that. You just run straight across over there. And uh and uh you'll see, you'll find him. So once you run in here, there's a little stable horse cattle thing. Go into it. Go into this little place right here where you see the blood marks, and uh, be prepared. That's all I gotta say. Sweet mother. Of Look at the lion, boys. This is a real deal lion. Oh, it just looks so cool. I wish I could have a pet lion and Red Dead Redemption too. It would be my favorite thing. Ever. Yeah, but I end up shooting him like eight times. Maybe like a thing. Let me see. And now what you guys want to do with this, I'm going to tell you right now, is you're going to want to cut him off. You want to take the trophy or whatever it says to do. Loot the lion, and you're going to get this paw. And this paw, along with what Margaret gives you, you can create some pretty cool things with it. And uh, it's honestly really worth it. Uh, you don't even need the, the reward for the whole thing from Margaret, but the lion's paw plus that, it's like two nice things to have. And uh, you guys are going to see, so I'm going to be back with you guys when we get there. Alright guys, so you just go back to the white dot on your map that says Margaret, and this is pretty much all the cutscene, I'm pretty sure, for the most part. So I'm gonna be quiet and let you guys hear what this man's gotta say. You didn't think it might be useful for me to know that that escaped animal was actually real? You moron! I clearly stated that we were looking for You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. It was him or me. Now pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is. You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes, one man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Daddy ain't here. We had a deal. 
Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great so, hunting ground uh, in the sky. Pretty much, day, he's gonna give you this end road. Really this is pretty much the end of it. If you guys okay, enjoyed the video or found it helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. And in my next so long, video, Mr. stay Austin. out, stay tuned it's because I'm gonna be teaching you guys what to do with the lion's paw and with the emerald. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.